wedding wedding is just a celebration after marriage good wedding is just a celebration after marriage that is a hard statement wedding is just a celebration after marriage my name is Ebenezer Amakwentri and I'm the one who's seen you on this program. So today we are discussing about marriage. Now, Dr. Ibo Damena, he is the founder of uh, Power City International in Nigeria. Uh, he's known to uh, be one man of God that uh, make a lot of statements that sounds controversial in the ears of most people, uh, of which I'm not here to defend that, to talk about that. But then he has made this statement about marriage, whereby he's saying that, um marriage uh wedding is a celebration which is done after marriage so now if the wedding is a celebration after the marriage then definitely he's talking about the engagement <laughs> so if you are a young guy you are listening to this uh you're watching this video i want you to pay a very close attention to this video if you're a young lady you are listening to this uh message Make sure I pay a very critical attention because we've seen a lot of young people who are giving excuses. They are they are having sex with the lady. Uh, they are they, they, some of them even impregnate them all because uh, uh, I'm waiting for money to ma marry you. I'm waiting for money. They wait for money and they will give birth about four children and still so be waiting for money. Why? Because to them, I have to make the wedding that kind of big. They've forgotten that. Oh, I have to even see the parents. And do the traditional they've forgotten about that what most of these people we have our youth we have in our mind is that i have to do the wedding it has to be this i have to get this number of bridesmaids get this number of uh, best men and a whole lot so at the end of the day you see that the wedding looks so expensive and scary and these young men don't have the money to do that so what they will do is that they will sleep with you they will impregnate you and keep assuring you i'm get i'm gathering money 10 years they will still be giving birth with you and if you don't take care along the line they will break up with you and that is an issue so this video definitely have to be a blessing to you now if you are new on this platform make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel so that when new video uploaded here you can have access to it so let's go into watch the video the real marriage has happened before wedding because the real marriage is parents giving their children to one another that's marriage it's cultural so all that wedding is unnecessary it's, un it's not in the bible no wedding in the Bible. White wedding is a white man's culture. It's not in the Bible. It's not a Bible thing. Good. So, <laughs> this this is uh, something that someone asked that. Well, uh, wedding is not in the Bible. Okay. So, but then that is that there are a lot of things that we are doing on earth that is not categorically kind of stated in the Bible, but we do them. So, I'm not sure he he actually made a point that it's not in the bible so don't do it that's not the point but you see it's kind of we are trying to christianize that kind of celebration yes so that they, they, they will call it christian wedding or whatever white wedding christian but you see they, 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 they are trying to christianize this white wedding i'm sure that is why he made reference that that thing you are trying to christianize it that thing that you are thinking that if you don't do it, then the, the, your marriage will not be glorious. It's not even in the Bible. In the Bible, you, I don't talk much. Let's get to the video to see what you are saying. In the Bible, marriage is parents handing over their children. When requirements of the families are met, once that happens, marriage has happened. Good. So when we talk about uh, the, 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 the bo both parents giving their children out, then we are definitely looking at uh, that is the traditional way, which is the uh, engagement. Yeah, the traditional marriage is the engagement. So that is what we are looking at. Yeah. And of course, because you are a responsible Christian, you now call your pastor to speak a blessing. Basic. You don't need to feed people. You don't need to wear gown. You Good. So he's saying that. So this is the process you go through if you want to marry without a white word. What you do is that as a Christian, you are a responsible christian you go into your pastor that pastor i want to marry this sister but we, we can't afford to do a wedding so what do we do so he's saying that 
after you've done a traditional marriage uh, then you've gone to do the court kind of thing the next thing that you have to do as a responsible believer is that you go to your pastor then they bless it they bless the marriage you see when they bless your marriage it doesn't mean that maybe you had sex with your partner it, it doesn't mean that you got her pregnant that is why they are blessing it that is the misconception that most of us have and you see we live in a world where we try to we are thinking of what others would think about us listen there are some people who have had wedding that they've had sex before they were getting married. They are. I mean, they went to the, the pastor that, oh, the lady, I've not even seen her before. How would you know? So if you've not had an affair with the lady before and they are blessing it, don't say that people would think that uh, uh, we, we, we had an affair. That is why the church is blessing it. No, don't have that mindset. Don't have it. There are people that whose marriage have been blessed for them, but they didn't have any affair or whatever to do with it just that that, that is what they could afford as i'm put who have had sex like if you can't no man they've even given birth and they, they hate it some have even done abortion they are married now but they did the wedding and everybody came around and they prayed for them that does not mean that they didn't have the abortion or something so normally we shouldn't think about what others are going to say about the marriage you know yourself you know yourself it is because you don't want to spend a lot of money. That is why you are you are going that way. Not because you, you committed uh, something you are not supposed to do as the church standard. That is why you are doing that way. So let's make sure that we are not doing this married thing uh, to impress people or think our outside is going to see. Exactly. You can wear house cloth and come and get married. I'm not joking. I'm very serious. You don't need to gather people. You can do your wedding, call your friends. 10-10, ten, ten, cook for them. They eat, you rejoice. And that's it. Sunday, you come and give testimony. We got married within the week. But wait, too. <laughs> this one is <laughs> something that... The, the question that comes to mind is that this our 21st century female girls, church girls. Just be frank. Are you sure that these church girls who have been to the university, teacher training colleges, nurses, those kind of people who let you come and do this kind of wedding? <laughs> For me, I doubt. But if I get some, I'll be happy. And it's like, yeah, like I'll, I'll like something like me and my, my girlfriend. We, we, we've, seen, we've seen both families. We've done a traditional wedding. Then we go to the court. You know, we go to the court. We sign that this, this and that. We are married. That is all. No... Uh, brighter shower, brighter than than milk and those kind of things. You, I would like it, you know. But the thing is that the 21st century girls, uh, it's hard for you to get someone like that. And no, know that if if you get a lady who isn't, let's say, kind of not understanding that, it doesn't mean that she's a bad girl. That is, it is what it is. But I wish I get someone like that. Who is going to make sure that ah, amen let's go to the courts i mean daddy knows about us than a traditional marriage we've gone to pastor we pray they bless their mind for us yes yeah, spend the rest uh, for honeymoon it's, it's so 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 simple we think that you can wear a normal cloth and me for example i'm not going to wear a coat or a suit to my wedding if if i'm let's say i'm getting married today i mean i don't know when i'll get married though but if i'm to get married I don't wear suit. Me, I'm someone. I don't even like suit. I don't like wearing suit. I'm not going to wear it. Just get something simple. Put it on. When I do that, that's, that doesn't mean that my marriage is going to fail. That's not. That's not the case. Then I also tell you that I, I'm not against you doing your wedding expensive, but this message is for individuals like me. We we don't have much, so we want, we want to cut our coats according to our size. So you let's continue on with the message. <laughs> Papa was there to bless us. And if Papa was not there, Pastor Praise was there. Or my district pastor was sent by the church. They blessed us. It was a wonderful wedding. We were just 15 in number. <laughs> Praise God. Because of social distancing. So we couldn't take more than 15. You're a young man that wants to start life. And you want to spend 2 million for wedding. You don't have sense. The school fees your father paid in school was wasted. You need to go back to the village and refund the fees. 
you don't have money to start life then you are spending two million in wedding two million can set up a good business for you if you have sense and that's why people get married and for one year they are still paying debt now so two million naira <laughs> you see this nigeria said money to a sound you know so now two million naira is twenty nine thousand Ghana. <laughs> And this is how one is in Ghana is budgeting something like forty thousand or fifty thousand to marry Nigeria. That is two million naira. Yeah, so you see that their currency. In fact, uh, let me let me check uh, two million naira in dollars and let's see two million naira uh, in dollars. Hmm, that is two thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. Yes, yeah, so in dollars we are spending two thousand. Let's say two point six thousand. Yeah dollars to have a wedding now you see when you have this amount that is twenty nine thousand ghana cities or two thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars i bet you, you you can use it to start something i mean so that two million francs you shouldn't squander it you can you can use that amount of money to start business for yourself and your wife that is fifteen thousand ghana cities it's, it's an expensive money so you let's continue with what the man of God was saying. So their marriage started with bitterness and anger. Everybody is angry. Because when there is debt to pay and no money to eat, there will be tension in the house. That love will suddenly finish. Who send you? <laughs> and most times it's the sisters. I want to to wedding. Me too, I want to dance. I want to dance. If I don't dance, I will never be normal. I will never be normal. I must dance. All my friends are waiting. They are all waiting for me. I must put my picture on Facebook. Facebook must see my picture. Uh, if I don't put my picture on Facebook, I can never be normal. Who knows you on Facebook? Facebook is for faceless people. People you don't even know. You want to impress them. And you want to make your young man to be broke. To impress Facebook. You know, if for Facebook, you don't need where you know. You don't need to borrow a gown. Call a photographer. <laughs> you don't know. You can enter uh, a wet housing and look for one corner and see. Oh, just chip this in. I am a wedding photographer. Yes, so, if you need someone to uh, shoot your weddings for you, you can book us, Chris Centric Media. Uh, we do wedding photography too. So, watching this video you are you are young guy you want to get married uh, you can get in touch with us and uh, we have affordable prices and if you book us through christocentric message we have some discount that uh, we will give you yeah i'm just shipping this because you talked about taking pictures thank you snap and put new york last week in new york who will confirm it how will they confirm it no, it's a question. How will they confirm it? Are there no green trees in New York? Is there no sand in New York? Uh -uh. Can you look for somewhere in Lagos? Snap different places. Put New York, Japan, China. And then somebody will see it and die of jealousy. For picture you snap in Lagos. Just because you put New York, Japan and China. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. Am I making your life easy? My yoke is easy. My yoke is easy. My brother, sister, let the brother marry you like that. You people should just gather inside my office. I bless you. Then give him time. Two years, four years, five years. When he has balanced financially and he has made money, you can call the whole of Nigeria from president down to come and join. Do your marriage and he... That is... Very simple. Now you have money. By then you've built a lot of relationships. You have a lot of big men around you. You do your anniversary. You invite them. They will come. You, that time cry. You get. You also even get a lot of money. The brain got to work. I'm not saying that don't marry at a young age, oh, but when you are doing that at a young age, make sure that you don't spend how much you can't afford. I keep saying that the fact that you can pay for something doesn't mean you, you can afford it. If you can't buy twice or thrice, you know, I use thrice. Who's can that one? The money you have there, 
if it cannot buy that item three times well, well i can even do it two times for you if the item is two thousand ghana cities if you can't buy it at four thousand and still have some change that you wouldn't you, you don't you don't have to even bother for let's say with one whole month then it means you can afford it yeah so please don't do a wedding that you can't afford don't eat your future today so he's saying that don't eat your future today so this is a, a message from dr Ibrahim damena to young people who are preparing to get married i hope you learned a lot from this so our dear sisters watching me uh, marriage is not all about big wedding even though i'm not saying it is a sin to do a big wedding but what i want us, i want us to understand is that it's not about how expensive the wedding is but it's about the life after the wedding that is what matters a lot if you've met a young guy who has a vision who is hard working and is pushing hard to make some small ends meet believe if if only you have you share the same vision and purpose uh, and you're ready to support him go on uh, we, I, we can share a lot of pictures with you with these are early fathers and some gurus who started with nothing with their wife and god being so good now they have there are some people some ladies will be fortunate they, they will meet a guy uh, who even though is young but is already kind of established uh, and they'll get married but you see all th these fingers you see here look at these fingers you see that uh, it's not the same it's not the same but each, each of them be important so the fact that someone had uh, this big wedding and stuff and yours wasn't like that doesn't mean that you failed as, as a woman so please let's release our brothers there are a lot of young guys who want to get married i tell you if you don't know i'm telling you a lot of young guys who are ready to get married but the family call is not there the money that they have to use to marry these girls is not there because they, they can't afford it there's a lady who who, who went for a loan a loan of hundred thousand ghana cities plus for a wedding and he, he she didn't even inform the husband she only informed the husband after they got married. Now the husband has to pay for it. The husband decided that they, uh, he said he has, uh, he has budgeted 40,000 Ghana cities. The lady said no. She wanted the wedding to be big. And then she was support. No, no way. She went for a loan. <laughs> I, I, I'm even emotional. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm in my traditional kind of cloth. So we, we support traditional wedding most of the times. And some simple uh, wedding, then you, you go your way. Once again, my name is Ebenezer Amakwenchi. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not done so. And share this video to bless someone. Thank you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.